Hey everybody, welcome back to the So Pretty MB channel. This is So Pretty MB, and today we are back with a video. Um, so I'm on my Zoom call. I'm on my Zoom call. It is 4:30 a.m. It's 4:30 a.m. I'm tired, but it's like I'm up. This portion of the video is sponsored by Tea for All Tropical Collection. Um, they come in several different flavors. Um, I already drank like two or three of them. They had like a dragon fruit one that was so good. They had they had a couple of them that were like really hitting. So definitely look into it today. We are doing coconut. This is the packaging of it. We're doing coconut and I added a little bit of creamer. I have my death milk cup ready and I'm gonna just let it sit for a minute. As far as sweetener, I did, um, we're doing this. It's an alternative. So there's a syrup consistency, but it's a little bit looser too. Let me get, I gotta get right first y'all. On that Zoom call 4.30 in the morning. Get on your Zoom. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I hope this video finds you well. This video is basically for the girlies that are basically transitioning from that girl to that woman. Here's some tips and some advice that I feel like could help you that's definitely helped me reinvent myself. Letting bad habits go. So that consists of drinking, smoking, casual encounters, and poor routines. Obviously, with drinking, you, we want to be sober. With smoking, we want to be sober. We don't, we don't want to be the girl that smells like a pack of Newport or a loud pack. We want to be sharp and we want to be focused. Um, casual encounters, like casual sex, being around people just because you're bored, things of that nature. We can no longer participate where certain things don't serve us. If it's not bettering us and putting us in a better position so that we could catapult into our purpose and be the very best versions of ourselves, we don't need to participate. We don't need to be there. So obviously casual sex with people is definitely huge. No, no, we're not doing that anymore. For those that were doing it, for those that aren't doing it, we're not doing that. That's just not becoming at all. Your body is your temple. You don't need to allow everyone to have access to you. That's just what it is. Um, and poor routines. Um, one thing that kind of like saved, not saved me, but like has helped me. And for all I know, it might have saved me long term. Um, creating a bedtime routine and a morning routine. So right now I'm out of it because it's the holidays. I'm getting ready to go home, everything like that. But on a regular, my Monday through Friday, I have a routine when I wake up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., where I'm getting myself together and taking the opportunity to set my tone for the day. For the evening, uh, for bedtime, I set an alarm that will say, hey, it's time to wind down at such and such time. You need to be able to get in bed by X, Y, and Z. By 11.30, you need to be in your bed with your eyes closed um, on off your phone. So pull out clothes for the week or pull out clothes that I would like to wear for the next day. And that may change, of course, but being able to say that I was prepared for the day, like just like how you were going to sit on your phone and scroll for hours, you had time to get yourself together. And then when you lose something or if you're in a space where you're trying to like find something like your keys, you're all over the place because you all you had to do was take 10 minutes out of your evening and start a routine to help you get situated, whether it's preparing your lunch so you don't have to do it in the morning or whatever it is, make it easy for yourself. You yourself better. Like I know for a fact that if my clothes are laid out and I'm ready to go, I got my coffee cup or my tea mug ready to go before the evening is out, I don't have to search for anything. I don't have to look and see what tea I'm doing today. All my vitamins are pulled out. All I gotta do is just guzzle them down and keep it moving. So creating a bedtime routine and a breakfast routine is something that will definitely make your life so much more easier. Um, I pull out clothes, take my shower, do my routine, my skin routine, whatever it is that I may feel like I need to do in order to make sure I have a successful day. And usually when I do everything that I you know, planned the previous night before, I end up having a great day because I don't feel rushed. I don't feel like I gotta beat traffic. I don't feel like I gotta hurry up to get anywhere. I feel more calm and at peace because I got to do everything that I wanted to do. Ignoring your conscience. 
stop ignoring your conscience like your conscience like it's there to protect us and your conscience that that voice in your head like that's telling you like yeah go ahead and fold those clothes now you're gonna be mad if you don't fold it now next thing you know they're there for two more days or um go ahead you got time make your bed now while you can like just that little voice in your head that always teaches you or just is always on you to tell you to do something that you know for a fact you're supposed to do just do it because chances are that little voice in your head is going to set you up for success stop ignoring your conscience um that little voice that pops up in your head could definitely save your life one day always let your conscience be your guide for sure because it has your best interest at heart so um next actually doing what you say you're going to do being a woman of your word turns you into someone that is elite people look at you as more reliable more dependable because you're doing what you say you're going to do and it's a sign of respect for others as well because a lot of people it's hard to find consistency and it's hard to find people that actually care enough to do what they said they're going to do you got to be a woman of your word and i see myself being a particular type of woman like just inside out and i am in a space where letting myself die completely out is so sad but it's also like encouraging too because as my old self just starts to shed like i'm adopting new habits new traits new characteristics like new everything like and it feels amazing to be able to just say like nah i'm focused like that girl letting that girl die out so that i could become that woman like I, I there's a certain type of woman I see myself becoming and I'm going to get there um being more selective with everything become more selective with who you spend your time with become more selective with what you do during your spree your spare time so we're not scrolling for hours we're not doing that and as far as social media for the people that may struggle with it turn your notifications off for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those things. You do not need to get a notification every time somebody likes your photo. Like, all that does is feed our ego. And this is the death of ego era right now. Like, we're in a space where we're trying to become more humble. We're trying to become better people. We don't need to be feeding our ego. And that's all social media does. You post the right pic, you get enough likes, all of a sudden you like oh that one was fire like let me check every 10 seconds or let me check every five minutes the progress of this photo like what does it matter if 300 people liked your picture get out of social media there is no reason why you should be receiving notifications just because the shade room posts you shouldn't even be following pages like that i do not follow the shade room i do not follow messy pages like tea pages we might have tea but we're not going to sit here and just let that be the, the center of our life like gossip and celebrity news like we're not doing that we watch monitor your conversations be more selective of what you're doing and how you're doing it now i snap you i put and it's gonna sound nasty but it's like really good it balances out really well tea this is coconut so i put like i'm not even gonna tell you what i put i put okay because y'all don't think i'm nasty but whatever um i put the i still got the coconut tea in there and so what i did was i put a little bit of creamer but it was like a cinnabon it was like a, a earth base like a plant base uh thing and i put it in there and i also used this and that was it and it's so good y'all need to try it but i'm gonna let it sit for a minute too because back from your commercial break <laughs> so be more selective with like who you spend your time with. Like, does this person, there has to be a reason for everything. Yes, that's just, we're detailed women. We're going to want to know why are you here? What's going on? What do you know? We got everything that we do, we have to do with purpose. So make sure that the friends that you have around you are extremely supportive. Make sure the people around you have purpose. They have things to do. They're busy. So turn off your notifications for Instagram, Twitter, and all of those other social media sites because, and you'll realize that your, um, your screen time will go down. You'll realize the only reason why you're on there is because you decided to get on there. You're engulfed and now you didn't fell asleep with your phone off the charger and now your day is running crazy because you didn't follow your routine. Um, stick to the routine. Uh, another thing that we need to avoid doing is uh, rejecting ourselves and self-doubt. 
You know those people that you hang around and they're constantly like speaking negativity over their lives and they're they're just so used to being offended or so used to just being in a particular mindset? Like, no, we're not, we can't participate in that anymore. If you're one of those people, you need to wash your mouth. You got to be able to tell yourself like, you're beautiful today. Your skin looks gorgeous. Like you, you actually look amazing. Like take the time out for you to speak life into you. Don't look for a man to sit here and tell you that you're beautiful today. Dang, he ain't tell me I was beautiful all my, like I used to do that. I used to literally sit there and be like, dang, like he ain't even tell me I was pretty in like two weeks. Like, am I pretty? Like, but when you have self-love and when you, when you're loving on you and you're taking time out for you and you're dating yourself, like, I promise you what a man says will never phase you. What a woman says will never phase you. Like, give yourself that green light. Give yourself that opportunity to just be like, yeah, like I'm about to just, I'm the flyest thing walking, have confidence because it's in you. It's not on you. But at the end of the day, you be around people that serve you. You be around people that encourage you, that tell you you're beautiful. You be around those people. Don't just sit in a space where you're just taking up space. Like, no, actually be purposeful with wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And the people around you will pour into your cup. I'm not going to lie. There's been so many times where I've left situations with my cup empty and was mad. I was so mad. Like, and I was mad with myself. I was beating myself up. And, and that's a form of abuse. Like, stop beating yourself up about things that you cannot change like let it go move on and do what best serves you to get in the habit of loving on you more buy yourself flowers take yourself out to eat do everything that you say you want to do like romanticize your life for real next is revisiting your physical appearance <sighs> y'all could be offended whatever it is take what you can leave what you can't um don't wear no bonnet out the house. Stop doing that. That stop doing that. We're not those type of girls. We're not we're not going we're going from that girl to that woman. Stop doing that. You could put a wig on, you could put a hat on your head, you you could you could put a hoodie on, whatever the case is, do what you feel like you need to do, but we're not wearing bonnets out the house. We're not we're not being bonnet baddies. No. And if you just want to serve face, that's fine. Do whatever you want to do. But baby, we're not wearing no bonnet out the house. That is unbecoming. That is, I don't care if you have a flight. I don't care if you have, if you're just going up the street. No, look presentable. You never know who you are going to bump into. You need to be mindful of, of how you look. Like, even if it's just some simple stuff, like I literally threw on a dress and a wig and kept it pushing today. Like, no, just i'm not a bonnet baddie like if i'm making videos or content yeah okay cool no we're not stepping outside the house with bonnets on we're not doing that we're taking a road trip and we just put it on we we'll take it off before you get out of the car y'all like stop doing that when monique said that it, about the girls wearing the bonnets in the airport y'all attacked her but i knew exactly what she meant you gotta care you do you do you need to care about what you look like you need to care about what it is and how you step out the house it looks dirty we want to look clean. We want to look like we just washed. Anyway, if you're looking to reinvent your style, look up other women online that are like shaped like you or that are, that look like you and find out like what best fits you. I can't sit here and go on Fashion Nova and that like y'all know that girl on Fashion Nova that, that that's like the poster child for Fashion Nova and anything she has, everybody tries to buy it and, they, and, and she's like this big <laughs> and all the outfits be looking crazy on other people. Find somebody that looks like you, that's built like you. Sit on YouTube and find women that, that look natural. Stop going on these um, Instagram pages, looking at these girls with these BBLs and hoping that you're going to look like that in your outfits. Like, stop. Because what's for her is for her. What's for you is for you. Find what works for you. You can incorporate multiple styles. That's how you create your own thing. Even down to like the when you getting your nails done what shape looks best on your hands like i'm paying attention to that i have a maintenance ball coming up and i'm just thinking about like i want to have a more mature look i want to be taken more serious i don't want to be the girl with the crop top with the crop top and the long fingernails and the i don't want to be young and turnt no more like i mean i love being young and turnt but like i want to be 
beautiful. I want to feel beautiful. I want to feel like you could take me serious if I came into a room. I want to have a multi-purpose nail hand um, combo. Find whatever hairstyle works for you, y'all. I like to switch my wigs up and like to do different things or whatever the case is. Find like a signature style where you know for a fact, regardless of whatever it is, it's going to eat down and you are going to be taken serious. You are going to look amazing in it. Find what works for you. Find that color that works for you. If you're a brown headed child, like uh, find what works for you. Um, that's what I could definitely say. Revisit your physical appearance. Go to the gym more because nobody wants to be with anybody that isn't taking care of themselves or at least trying, at least try, at least twice a week, you need to find yourself doing like some type of activity to say, let me be active. Let me not make excuses. It takes, the, we got the same 24 hours in the day. Like, let me try to go to the gym for a 30 minutes out of it. Let me at least try to be active or do something physical, even if it's a work, a work from home workout, anything like that. Uh, we have so many apps um, that are available where people are able to work out from home, like you'll see in previous videos, um, or just focusing on eating clean. Like it, you, everyone looks a little better, like toned up and slim, and you know that's just what it is. You're going to look better when you're you're taking care of yourself. Your skin is going to look better. You're going to glow. Like when you're taking care of you, you are. It's going to show. Another thing is setting goals. One thing that I used to do, I used to just set goals for New Year's um, as like a New Year's resolution. That was just something that I just did because I just felt like, okay, well, you know, it's the New Year's time for new goals. And I never revisit what I had the previous year. I just kept making goals. That coconut just makes me hit, y'all. But yeah, like I used to just set goals for the New Year's and that was it. I started giving myself tasks throughout the month, throughout the week. In daily goals, like, okay, I would give myself, like, for instance, when you're like, okay, what are you doing for a daily? Like, daily goals, I'll, um, that closet you said you was going to clean out, go ahead, do it. Or you say you're going to deep clean the whole house, go ahead, actually doing what you say you're going to do, like, with yourself. There's nothing, if you can't do what you're supposed to do for yourself, how can you expect for anybody else to, like, step up and be like, yes, I'm going to do it for you, or I'm here for you, like, let me do this. Like, no, when you can tell yourself all the time, I'm going to do this, I'm going to start this, and you don't end up doing it, it's not a good look. So giving yourself things to do, like, I told myself this month, I want to learn Spanish. I don't care if I open up that app five times this month. If I, if I can, you know, show you what I've learned and I've been teaching myself or I've been taking courses or whatever the case is, like, set goals for yourself because it keeps you on track. It gives you things to do so you're not just doing just doodling your time away like everything has to have a reason everything has to have a purpose yes that's just what it is when we're going from that girl to that woman everything has to have a purpose we're not just aimlessly doing things we're doing things that serve us and pour into our cup so that we're able to pour out into the community definitely learn how to like set goals set monthly goals weekly goals and daily goals for yourself because it gives you more of a sense of responsibility and also getting like a calendar or, or like an agenda and actually writing down your week it, it'll help out as far as keeping track of your goals All right next um get into mentorship or menteeship programs um when you do that it builds character it gives you responsibility where people are depending on you firsthand and in turn like you you end up becoming more punctual because you're respecting people's time. For those people that are always late, understand that translates as disrespect. It translates as disrespect. Like you don't respect someone's time. And that's the most valuable thing that we have right now is time like that we don't even really have. So when you're constantly late or when you don't have, oh, it, that'll wait, that'll wait. Like when you just push stuff off all the time, understand that it translates as disrespect you're not going to be taken serious when those promotions come up you're going to be last on the list like you want to be punctual with whatever and whoever you're with because it's a sign of respect i have always tried to be on time i'm always early to work i always if i'm not on time early to an event if my friends invite me i make sure i respect their time and if anything happens i communicate that with them learning how to communicate like taking the time out to communicate with people is so important if you're going to be late, if you're going to be whatever, like 
Just learn to communicate better and people will respect you more. Oh, I turned off on the wrong exit. Thank you for that. Thank you for letting me know versus just allowing me to sit here and wait for you after you set a time to be here. You know, get into a mentorship program because, and here's the thing, um, my pastor had once said, you know, you ought to be the brokest person in your group. And I was like, huh? Like, why would I want to be the brokest person in my group? We get money. We get money. And it's like, it's like, he's so right because it's like, you need to be around people that have already been there and done that. You need to be around people that are experienced because no one, the best teacher is experienced. I'd rather be around somebody that's already been there and done that and has already accomplished the goals that I'm trying, that I've set for myself versus being around people who have no direction, they don't know what they want to do, that's constantly changing their mind, that's constantly, like, and there's nothing wrong with being indecisive sometimes, but it's like, I'd rather be around people that are, are, are certain with themselves because it gives off a certain energy that I feel like I need to have. Like, oh yeah, I need to, shoot you, oh, you a millionaire? Okay, cool, I, we'll get there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Actually being around people that you know for a fact you could grow from, that's what the message was. Um, and it, it builds character. You it, you turn, you are able to, you have so much power. You can be whoever you want to be. If you want to be a sweet girl, you want to be nice, you want to be a powerful business owner, you can be whatever it is you want to be around the right people. Make sure your village is strong, y'all. Care. If you don't take anything from this video, make sure your village is strong because it's going to be the reason why you either rise and exalt or you want to just fail and not get anything done and be starting over the same things constantly over and over and over again that you said you were going to do what you didn't do all right uh next reading more slash audiobooks y'all we got to get it more into reading because knowledge is power and the more you know the more your cup will be filled and hence that'll be more that you'll be able to put into your community there are things and theories that i've learned just by reading books um and just self-reflection like there's so many things that I've learned just by reading and being able to to share that information with my friends whether it's an inspirational video or whether it's like a book that I just finished I will literally send copies of books to my friends that's just the type of friend that I am um even if they're not readers I feel like one day you'll find it purposeful you know you'll understand what I was trying to do or where I was going with whatever I was doing um Reading more just opens up your, your thought process, and we want to challenge ourselves to be deeper thinkers. Um, and last but not least, y'all, time management. Time management also goes back with being more selective. With time management, you, you also got to set aside time for yourself and for family and things that served you the, serve you the most. We're on a journey to being the very best versions of ourselves, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get there um, in the most respectful way possible. Um, you got to allow your old self to completely die out. And I know that sounds terrible and terrifying. And sometimes like, I get emotional about it because I'm like, man, like change is so uncomfortable, but you got to trust the process and trust that like you are going, you are covered and you do in good faith, it'll come back to you. You are a person that have done terrible things, but you want to change. If you want to get out of bad habits, like you can do it. Know for a fact that your past doesn't define who you are. You can be an amazing person. You can be a business owner. You can be a millionaire. You could be whatever it is you say you want to do. Do it. You can go to nursing school. Let this be your opportunity to move forward in love and light and actually leave an impact on this world because we don't have a lot of time. Do what it is that you feel like you need to do to help you become the very best version of yourself so you can go from being that girl to that woman. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is So Pretty MB. Hopefully you can take some things from the information that I gave you today. Comment your favorite part below or your favorite advice. Um, comment below. Um, thank you guys so much for interacting with me. Make sure y'all connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, all these other places. Um, and yeah, thank y'all so much. So Pretty is out. I don't know, I'm